right guys you've seen the title you've seen the thumbnail let's just get straight into it so what you get in the box is a pack of prawn cocktail crisps a chocolate brioche and a dr pepper Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna do this. In today's video, I'm going to be opening this Pokemon Spring 2022 Collector's Bundle. I believe this is the new variant of the Collector's Chest slash Lump Box. And in this bundle, you get seven booster packs, three promo cards, three promo cards, and more. So this is the front, the top, and the treasure. A treasure box packed with Pokemon. I'll leave this on the screen for a second so you can read it. But without Puppy. further scooby ado, let's get it. Alright guys. If I'm not mistaken, I think this collector's bundle is only available in the US. So of course I had to source it from Amazon in the US. Paid a little bit extra for it, but I don't mind. And before I get into it, it's technically a lunchbox. Lunchbox, look, you can hold it. It's got a handle, just hold it like that. I don't know how much you can support, but yeah. So if you want to use it as a lunchbox for your kids or something, there's that option. What is it open? There you go. And once you open it, you're greeted with a nice clean white Arceus with glitter jumbo coin oh this this jumbo coin is clean I guess the first of its kind I'm not sure maybe you guys can educate me on that but there's a jumbo coin I'm not sure like how these are put in here with this thing oh no I'm sure this will Damage the card in some way on the edges or something. Here's your Cyndaquil. This Cyndaquil is really nice. I like the hollow pattern as well. It's like the, the modern hollows but without the print lines. I wouldn't say print lines but with the lines going through it. That's really nice. Here is the Oshawott. These are the first partner Pokemon from Legends Arceus. Nice. These are really nice holo I mean, promos, but the centering looks poor. I mean, these wouldn't be too bad to grade if you can get them in good condition. That's cynical. I love the grade, but condition is not that great. And here is the Rowlet. Yeah, look at the centering on that. That is poor. Look at the holo, the holo, um, shine. I guess you can call it. Here are your seven packs, so you get two billion stars. Um, there's your call card for the collector's chest. I'm guessing you get the free promo cards with that. Free vivid voltage, nice. I don't mind that selection. One fusion and one evolving skies. Nice selection of packs. I don't mind this selection of packs to be honest. Fusion strike could have been something else. Probably take battle styles over there, to be honest. Alright, so seven packs. And then you get a little batch of stickers. Really nice stickers, actually. Arceus, Cyndaquil. Upside down, Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott. Rowlet and Oshawott. I guess you get them in a bundle together and you get them separately as well. Arceus with him by himself and a really nice notebook it's actually like text textured textured yeah the little lines I don't know if you can see it but they actually they're raised up a little bit it's a bit textured there you go 
this would be nice for the kids. So if you have kids and you buy this, I guess you could just give the stickers and the notepad notebook to your kids. And that is the contents of the box guys, so I believe I'm going to start with Fusion Strike for sure. Brilliant Stars Lost. Baby Voltage and Involving Skies? Yeah. Alright, so kicking things off with Fusion Strike. So far, the new, the newest promotional Promotional um, boxes and stuff like that, they've not been that great to me. The lot hasn't been on my side, these type of things, so I'm not expecting much from these to be honest. Probably my Pickle and the Matic. So, Fusion Strike was a duck. Moving on to the voltage. Yeah, I think Brilliant Stars just took all the luck away and now, apart from Brilliant Stars, I don't know, maybe because the Brilliant Stars are really poor, it's way better. Reverse Explode and a Colossal V, and that's quite nice, that's quite nice for a V. Alright, so Vivid Voltage did give us a little bit of a hit, it's a V but it's a hit nonetheless. Yeah, because of how insane my Brilliant Stars luck has been, guys. Anything else that I get now is just bad luck. Bad luck. I guess can this box change it? Do I do the card trick? No, then one, two, three, four. Darkness. Yeah, and this collector's bundle, I think. I think it's US exclusive because I've tried to look in the UK. Oh, is that a holo? Yeah, that's a holo. Magena. Magena. Nice, not bad. I've tried to look in the UK, I can't find it, so I'm not sure. Unless they bring them out in Pokemon Center, which I don't know if they have, I haven't actually checked. But if they bring them out in Pokemon Center, I guess that's the only way you were to pick these up in the UK. Apart from that, I don't know. I haven't seen it anywhere. Could be in supermarkets and those kind of stores. Again, I haven't checked, but could be that kind of promotional product where they end up in the supermarkets and stuff like that. But nothing there. So if this guy see, apart from that V, which isn't too special to be honest, all of these collectors bundle. The V Star Lucario collection box, even that Leafeon V Star, or Leafeon High Five, Leafeon Glacier V Star, did that I did. Link in the script description down below, guys. Um, those were poor, nothing good, and then I get a slacking and a slack off. So the hits in this, pun intended, are slacking. It's brilliant stars with the poor rates and luck I've had give me anything good probably not probably not my brilliant stars master set collection is coming along very nice guys I've got I think I have 17 cards left to collect and I'm still gonna open a few more packs here and there I guess and then I'm probably gonna buy singles and we get a whimsical V so two V's from this box not bad not bad Some cold cards that I forgot to give you. I keep doing this. I should do what I've done in a couple of my videos. I just. Oh, sorry, I'm about to burp. Where I just give you the cold cards and edit them in after. Probably be easier. That way I'm not trying to think and multitask at the same time. Talk, give you the cold cards and stuff like that. Morphium Reverse, and Electivire, so that's it for this collector's bundle and let's do a quick little recap. So aside from the promos and the 
two hollows for Saffron Promos from the packs. Two hollows and two Vs. One from Brilliant Stars and this one was from Vivid Voltage. I mean, I don't know if it's just me, if my luck is just poor, but so far all of these like collection boxes and bundles and stuff like that, it's like they're throwing in packs that they know don't have any good hits because I've rarely seen anyone pull anything good out of anything out of any of these so far and my luck just says the same thing I've seen V's yeah V's being poor and stuff like that but no full arts alternate arts stuff like that so ultimately in my case if you're getting it from the UK imported because you're gonna have to pay extra obviously you gotta pay taxes and import charges is it really worth it? Probably not, unless you get really lucky. But in terms of collector standpoint, it's not really worth it, to be honest. For the kids, if you're buying it for your kids, I think it'd be worth it. I guess you could always just buy it, get the packs, get the promos, and then give the kids the rest of the stuff. But aside from that, I don't think it's worth it. And on that note guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.